Do you remember that time you wanted to start a business and uh, hey, guess what? You saved a lot and you acquired the capital needed to start that business. And then you went ahead and started that business. Then after some time you realized, wow, I think what I thought is not even the case, okay? You realize that new things are coming in and you feel like you can even close the doors and say, hey, it is what it is, I've given up. And by the way, there are some of you who are watching these videos and they have given up. Maybe either in businesses or in investments or sometimes generally in life. That is the worst thing that you can ever do. Let me tell you one secret. Success, let me tell you one secret. It's actually 5% strategy and 95% mindset. Let me show you how. See, have you ever thought or one day or maybe have you ever been thinking like, hey, guess what? Capital is the ultimate thing that I need for me to start a business. So you believe you having the capital, right? Let me just write it down. So you believe that you having the capital, capital is that amount of money that you need to start a business. And you have what we call the business plan. You see, you have that strategy. Hey, guess what? I want to start a cosmetic business. So therefore, I have the capital. My capital is like, let's say, 200K, right? So 200K. And I want to have a business plan. Okay, well, the one that is guiding me and telling me, hey, this is how you you know, come up with the shelving and uh, the counter. This is how you do the, 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 the point of sale system. This is where you do the stocking. These are the suppliers. And, this. and then, by the way, at the back of your head, you tell yourself, guess what? I have all the things that is needed for me to succeed in business. And then there you are. You have a very nice, elegant, presentable business. Oh, but things turn out to be different. Then you're like, then what is success then? Because I have believe I've done everything. Guess what happens? Because of the mindset. But the reality, strategy, yes, it is important. That's why it's occupying the 5%. But when you have the positive mindset, when you have a 95% mindset that is on the right as far as the success is concerned, then it, succeeding is never a question of if, but a question of when. Let me explain. So when we say you ought to have 95% mindset for you to be successful, it starts from how you actually do what? How you perceive things. What do I mean by how you perceive things? If you come into the business with this mentality of paranoia, you're paranoid. You feel like or you think like, hey, what if it fails? If it fails and I go back home, what will I do? This is the only money that I've invested. I don't know what I can do. Will I be even able to feed my kids and all those kind of things? Guess what? I'm going to share with you at least five things that you ought to need or you need to have that bears the 95% mindset that you need to succeed. Number one, you need to have something called adaptability. Adaptability. Adaptability this is the aspect of hey you see for example before you see there is a difference between you be, between you being outside the business and you being inside the business you see there is these things that usually have and perception and assumption should i call them before you get into the business let's say you want to get into the fashion industry business you see there is these ideas that you conceptualize in your head you sell it to your heart you are so happy you even feel like you've already succeeded See, there is that perception that someone's have before you get into the business, before you get into an investment. And then the moment you get into a business, you realize that you have to shake off a lot of things. So if you do not have that capacity to shake off a lot of things, then you're going to have a very tough time. For example, I had a friend of mine who started a coffee business. That guy was selling a cup of coffee at 50 shillings. And by the way, you know, at that specific place where he was selling that coffee, but he had a very good, elegant place and presentable place, you know. And this guy, at the evening, other guys would come hawking coffees with some things that they're selling theirs at 10 shillings. And the guy was so much rigid to whatever he's selling. But the environment and the ground is telling you that what you're selling at that particular amount of money, it is not adding up. Because the guy who come from, or the people who come from this place, your target market cannot manage to actually buy that coffee at that particular amount of money. So the aspect, the ability for you to adapt, be flexible. They always say that only a fool doesn't change his mind. You see, so if you have the capability to adapt as the things go, then that would be the best thing that you can ever have as far as the mindset is concerned for you to be successful. The other thing that you need to have for you to actually tick this box that you have the 90% mindset, positive mindset, is that mindset as a what? A foundation. You need to have a, found, a right foundational mindset. Right foundation. Right foundation as far as the mindset is concerned. All right. What I mean when I say mindset, uh, the, the foundation, because this is the ultimate thing that you need to have before starting any business. You have to understand one thing. Guess what? Well, money is a product uh, given or is a reward given after solving someone's problem. If you're in a service industry, you do good in your service industry. You up your game. You actually work on your customer service. Uh, that is before and after sales services. Okay. You know one thing. Hey, guess what? I need I need to have to act on myself because I'm a spender. I have a problem with spending. This is 
sure I'm going to regulate myself. I'm going to have a differentiation between my personal account and the business account, how I handle all those accounts, what goes to my eating, what goes to my entertainment, what goes to my black tax. You see, before you even get into any journey as far as the success is concerned, you need to have yourself the right foundation. So when you have the right foundation, by the way, you know what? Um, okay, I know maybe, maybe this example may not be applicable. We usually say that... Uh, uh, in my tribe, we say like uh, that thrust that uh, the nail print actually uses to take off is what it sustains it. Fine. I may, maybe there is a pilot watching here. I might say, hey, oh, Joseph, that doesn't apply. Okay, that applies in our tribe. It is what it is. Okay. But the point is this. If you start it right, that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to say in that awkward example that I was giving out there. So, you know, if you get it right when you're starting definitely you always have to get it right even if things go some some way you always have you have to go back to what we call the pre-existed plans and exit plans just in case this happened i will do this just in, it's like you know it's like having that exit plan in whatever the thing or exit plan or before you get into anything you know hey guess what i'm targeting yes to get five thousand as a profit i'm targeting to get ten thousand or a hundred thousand per day as a profit from my investment or from my profit but if it happens that i do not get that profit say i get like half of that or maybe say i get like a certain percentage therefore this is what i'm gonna do so whatever i'm actually be able you know instead of paying my workers or my employees in terms of the monthly salary of maybe weekly salary i can actually do some incentives i can actually go do this commissions so you can anticipate just in case things go south you can be able to do that so that is what you call the right mindset as far as the foundation is concerned all right let's go to the, the next point the next point is something called resilience and persistency resilience you know resilience you know you have that resi resilience and persistency. You can persist. Persistency. Okay, fine. You know what the persistency. So that resilience and that ability to actually withstand the storms. Because uh, in businesses, those things are actually there. And you have to really have that resilience. Because hey, you know what they always say? Once you start a business, all the way from month one to month three, sometimes even to month four, you might actually get yourself into a very, very dicey situation. So if you didn't have what we call the right mindset, which is again, is, is what is required. And of course, here, a little bit of strategy is required. For example, I always tell people, if you forget into any business, make sure that at least you have a monthly uh, rent that ought to pay you know like for the next like uh if you can i would say six months if you can i said if you can if you can actually set say maybe you're paying a rent of ten thousand ten k per month if you can set aside like 60 g's somewhere for the sake of this friend don't rely on the business to stand by itself but if you can have this amount of money that you can pump in pump in moment by the time you clock six months you can tell the business is actually heading in the right direction or otherwise so resilience is that thing of being out there even if the results are not showing you out there each and every day you go to the place you go to the place you keep on pushing you keep on pushing you keep on pushing until you reach to a percentage particular point whereby now you can say hey things are working up and also persistence you know what they say persistency wears out resistance so if you can actually be persistent in life, in the strategies of how to be successful in life, definitely that thing that you're actually starting, it will work. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when it will do so. But if you're getting to a business, you have no resilience, you do not have the persistency, you're in your third month of the business, you're complaining, the business has not picked up, the things is going on. You're expecting a lot from the business. It's like giving birth to a kid and you're expecting them to go to school, walk and crawl and do all those things at the same time. Just give them a little bit of time. And I always tell people, maybe an year is actually a good period to tell yourself, hey, is it worth being in this business or should I think otherwise? Should I have what we call the tactical withdrawal? Not giving up. We don't say giving up when we are, when we are on a journey to succeeding. We say tactical withdrawal, right? Let's go to the next point. The next point is what we call, uh, uh, you know, what we call self, uh, what we call the self-confidence, okay? You have what we call the confidence. See, confidence is another factor that you really need to have whenever it comes to the, your journey to succeed. Whether it's a business way, whether it is an investment way, and, and also you must have what we call self-confidence and also belief. You must have that what we call the belief inside of yourself. You must have a belief system. Have you ever seen somebody who wants to start a business and then you think like these guys, is like they are weird, it's like they are out of ordinary because of the things and ideas that they are giving you. Sounds like out of order. You know, you really have to have confidence on what you're doing. And by the way, know what they say. Even if you say a lie consistently and you say it confidently, one day it will be believed as the truth.
It is true. So the aspect of confidence. And I remember back when we were in university, we used to have a certain student in our class. And, and then that guy could be totally wrong on, on what uh, you know he's responding to a lecturer. But the way he used to say it, uh, to say it, even a lecturer used to find it a difficult time to tell the students that you're actually wrong. Because the guy would stand boldly and say, I think it's supposed to be like this and this and that. The way he presents himself, he'd be like, if this guy can be fed with the right information, and that confidence and the right information, oh my goodness, that's the best recipe of success. So the same case applies. Even if you say a wrong thing, but you say it in a very confident way, that is the ultimate thing that you need to have in life. And the last one, by the way, you know, the last one is actually called the emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence. So this emotional intelligence is actually that capacity of actually handling as it comes. You know, in business, especially if, say, you are in a service industry, you might get some guys who discourage you, some people who have uh, some sort of negative comments. For example, when I was starting up, uh, the, 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 my, my social media channels, you find some people are commenting negative comments and some people, you know, are telling you what you have, why do you tell, who told you to advise us and all those kind of things. So if you do not have that capacity to handle and accommodate all those kind of things, Bro, sister, I'm telling you, you'll have a very rough time. So it's always good to make sure that you understand people suffer from different things. Others are discouraged in life and all those kind of things. So if you have the emotional intelligence, this is the ability of you to actually control the emotions. You have the boundaries. Yeah, you're human beings. You might feel bad or something or so, but you don't let it spill over and actually affect the external environment. You can actually separate yourself, your identity. You know, whatever is happening, you can compet I usually say you can compartmentalize yourself with the external environment. I may be having some difficult. I may be having some funny things going back at my home or something thing of sort but it's not mirrored in my presence as far as the business is concerned if you can separate those two entities that is called the emotional intelligence you know that is one of the emotional intelligence that is the ultimate thing that is the most important thing as well with others that i've discussed that can help you in achieving the success guess what guys that marks the end of my video but don't forget this this is a good joseph speaking i'm a guy with a camera and a good fair information of money and if you'd like not to miss any good of my videos make sure that you hit that like button and also make sure that you subscribe to this channel because i upload a video each and every day and by the way don't forget if you would like to you know have a conversation with me always pick that number of mine from the description of this specific video shoot me a call or a text on my whatsapp or you can pick that email should be an email and let's talk business and I offer those services at a personal level for a cup of coffee's price all right and by the way don't forget comment down below tell me what you think i'm a believer just like an iron sharpens another iron so do we learn from each other for now it's a goodbye and see you in the next one